Hi guys, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back to my channel if you're a returning subscriber. My name is Peyton and today I'm going to take y'all through a healthy day of eating in quarantine so all of these meals are going to be made at home because I know many of us obviously are stuck at home for the time being. So let's get into it. So I start every morning with my extra, extra large lemon water. This is about two glasses of water that can fit in this big mason jar. So I fill it up a couple of times in the morning so I know I'm staying hydrated throughout the day. And this really, really helps with my energy levels. I find that if I'm hydrated, I'm able to sustain energy over the course of the day just better. After I drink my first big glass of water, I go ahead and make my morning coffee. So today I'm going to be doing just an iced coffee with oat milk using my Nespresso maker. So put my Nespresso pot in the maker. This is my favorite oat milk. It's the Calithia Barista Blend. I don't know how you say that brand, but I'm just going to assume that. I add some pure vanilla powder, some cinnamon, and then also some coconut sugar to my frother, which I will link down below. I absolutely love this thing. And while my coffee finishes brewing, I go ahead and mix everything in the frother on the cold setting. It's extra, extra frothy. That's why I love this frother and this uh, Nespresso machine just in general. It feels like a really decadent like morning treat. And then usually around 10.30, 11 a.m. I'll go ahead and have a snack. So I just kind of bulk hard boil eggs at the beginning of the week and have them on hand for when I want a snack like this. So I'll cut three eggs and remove the yolks. They're just egg whites. And to those, I will add the Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning, as well as some sriracha. And then I'll also just have a green juice. My favorite is the suja green juice that I have here because it has no fruit and it's low in sugar. For lunch, I'm just having like a power bowl of sorts. So I start with my vegetables. I have zucchini, tomato, broccoli, and onion. Really just whatever vegetables I have on hand at the time or what I work with. So I add some avocado oil to my pan and I begin to saute the onions. I'll also add some seasonings at this point. So I have some salt, some pepper, and then some garlic powder. Sometimes I use just like minced garlic, but I didn't have any today. So I'm using garlic powder. I will then add my zucchini, continuing to season everything a little bit more just as I see fit. I'm not like super exact with all the measurements. And then I also add the broccoli and just saute that up a bit. And on occasion, I'll add something like chicken stock or vegetable stock just to make things a little more moist, even though I hate that word. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and add my tomatoes last and saute those as well. Next, I'm gonna add my just pre-cooked salmon. I cooked this in bulk at the beginning of the week as well. So I'm just kind of mashing it and letting it reheat up a little bit. Also add the quinoa which was also made in bulk. I just kind of like to have things like this on hand for when I want to make like a quick lunch or dinner and I also season some more, add a little bit more vegetable stock and mix everything together. Lastly, I go ahead and transfer this to my bowl and then I will also add some avocado for some healthy fats and that is my protein packed lunch. Mm -hmm. 
For dinner tonight, I am having some ground turkey tacos. So I add avocado oil to my pan, as well as some onions. Saute those up a bit. And then I will go ahead and add my ground turkey. And again, this is something I'm just gonna make in bulk as per usual to have on hand for the rest of the week. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just prepare it per the package instructions uh, on the taco seasoning actually. So this is from Trader Joe's. And basically you just cook the meat until it starts to get a little bit browned. And then you add the seasonings. And I added a bunch of extra seasonings just because that's what I like. So I added cumin. I also added some garlic powder, salt, pepper, and chili powder. And there has to be a better way to do this, but I like my taco meat somewhat finely ground, so this is what I do. I'm clearly no professional chef, but this is what works for me. So I just separate and sift everything around in the pan, and then I add the tomatoes at the very end and let those cook for a little bit. So I'm taking my favorite gluten-free tortillas from Siete Foods, the cassava flour tortillas. And I'm just going to do like my version of steaming the tortillas. So I take a damp washcloth, wrap the tortillas in the washcloth, and then I put them in the microwave for about 30 seconds and they come out soft and warm. And that is my easy, quick way to steam tortillas. Now I just start to build my tacos, so I'll add the turkey and tomato mixture first. And then I will add romaine lettuce. I will top off my tacos with some avocado as well as some sriracha. And there is my taco dinner. I love this meal. I eat it so often. So instead of dessert tonight, I'm actually going to have this chamomile tea with honey and lemon. So I just cut up my lemon while my water is boiling in my electric kettle, which I will also link below. I'll go ahead and add lemon and honey to my mug. And tonight I'm just using this honey vanilla chamomile tea that I got from Whole Foods. Once my water is boiling, I'll go ahead and pour it over the honey and lemon and add my tea bag and let that steep for about four to six minutes. And there you have it. That's my healthy what I eat in a day at home during quarantine. I hope you guys loved this video. And if you want some more healthy meal ideas, make sure to follow me on Instagram at Peyton Sarton, and I will see you guys in the next video.